view on everything that speaks. We used to say we used to hold a conference in a phone box, but I think it's even smaller now, it certainly would be more like a rabbit of the next day's local election. Given a massive view of them. Mr. Mayor, in 2010, the goal of working together strategically is the way forward to bring in more money from government. It's good for regeneration, jobs, transport, housing, health. In fact, every sector, as Brandon Lewis, the fellow government minister, has said, that this party has a say or against. And, and, and you know, they are on a fantasy world, fantasy world, well, but just pure political bickering that leads nowhere to political wilderness. And that's all because we're for them, we're against it. I mean, it's as simple as that. And they are ignoring massive funding opportunities for people of will. Mr. Mayor, what we're doing with shared service, services and other um, models um, um, is the way forward. Uh, and as I mentioned, the nice in an area report at that cabinet, we're putting forward a, a, another model, which is local taxes, um, local asset layering, whereby the collection of the and in the end of the you can collect cancel on that to support future regeneration. But coming back, coming back on, on the on the on the basis of their their resolution tonight, uh, it couldn't be more wrong. In paragraph one and paragraph three, uh, particularly paragraph three, where they talk about um, in terms of growth and job creation across the city region, well they're right. And we're of course really the way on that. Where the across the city region Unemployment tax law, which is designed to cut unemployment, youth unemployment, uh, uh, in half over three years. That's a great model, it shows that it can work. And yet again, again, you see against it, everything we put forward. So, Mr. Mayor, it, it is the best way forward, and I hope, I hope, hope together we can support the minor policy model. Thank you.
that cannot be held valid or transparent and flies in the face of many recent independent reports to this council. Mr Mayor, this is regional assemblies by the back door, which has in the past been put to a vote and overwhelmingly rejected by the people of this country. I ask this council to withdraw from the combined vote proposal and concentrate on what is important, delivering for the people of the world. Constituted. 
if you are well known with it in fact, guided us to form this group, yeah. if we wanted the money for uh, yeah. regional development, they said you must work together. And the best way of doing it is to have the elected leaders of all the various uh, authorities working together for our mutual interest. Because all of us that uh, cross the river or, or work on various parts of Merseyside, we, we, we're interested in, in the region being developed. Um, and it's impossible for Liverpool to dominate. That, uh, I mean, it's like saying that we will be dominated. It will be working together for the development of the region in the best interest of the region. And that's what we'll be uh, aiming to do. So I, I have no problem. I refute your objection. I don't think that there's anything in it that would help us there. And I support the Cabinet's um, proposal. I think uh, that's what Merseyside needs. This is the way we'll make progress. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor.
You have no evidence whatsoever to support that assertion. None whatsoever. That's just something that you assert because that is something that you think will happen. You've got no evidence base for actually bringing that forward. If you are concerned, if you are concerned to prove that um, you, the, the views of a lot of residents will be disenfranchised by this new uh, combined authority, well, here's news to you. This is democracy in action. This is when you get a mandate, and you get a mandate from your, your authority. And you do that by getting out and campaigning and having policies that people can, um, to, yeah, can get behind and can, can actually agree to. Um, you said that um, you said in your motion that uh, Liverpool will try and uh, veto and resources will be siphoned off to Liverpool. Well, my understanding of the, the way that the government of this is going to work is that no single authority will have any veto. There will be six um, six votes and they will all have equal weight and value. And I can see a situation where I don't know if Liverpool have had their debate yet. But they may be saying in their uh, council chamber, well, what if the other authorities combine to outvote us in this? So again, I think that's a completely uh, redundant argument. The fact that we have um, booked the trend in Wirral, um, in spite of government policy, and not because of it, well, that's good news for Wirral. And let's go on and combine and do bigger and better things. And that's what we want to bring greater benefits to the people of, um, of Wirral. In, in terms of uh, other types of uh, arrangements that we could have entered into, my, my understanding is that the government wants us to come forward with a very clear, favoured option. And that although Eric Pickles may now be saying, well, there's all kinds of other things you could have done, that was, they were not the options that were put forward from the government. We have chosen, we have chosen an option that the government put forward. No, you've come up with it, you've come up with those options.
and they all did in the act. Pat, what did you say? We're totally against everything. What we're concerned about is the administration of the project and also the fact of lack of consultation because there has not been any. Mike Sullivan, the best actor to the shape of the facility. You actually said that you had a mandate for your constituents to decide and state on this. That's what you said. How can you have a mandate to do that when you've never consulted with them? They've never been asked the question. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, as Jess Stokes' motion states, the principle of cross border working is, in essence, a very good idea. However, in its present proposed form, where we are today in its progress, it does have very serious drawbacks and searching questions to be asked. The six Liverpool city region local authorities have frantically blamed Catchup, having obviously quite late decided, out of the blue, as far as the general populace is concerned, to go for a combined authority model. Now, this option has been around on the table since 2009. And if we look, for example, I think um, you mentioned before, Councillor, uh, the one in Sheffield, city region, they took almost a year between May 2012 and April 2013 to conduct its governance review, devise its scheme, and submit a proposal to the government. If that runs its full course in Sheffield, it will take until April 2014 for it to be completed. A sensible time program. Mr. Mayor, it's been suggested that the schedule being proposed by Liverpool City Region will be completed in seven months. This makes no sense at all. Things do appear to be progressing on the scene yet. And Phil, you were quoted in the World of World in July this year saying, This is just the beginning. The date, debate will now take place within each council and across the city region. And you were backed up by Joe Anderson, who said, We aim to complete the review and submit a proposal to the government by the end of September 2013. How do you honestly expect to conduct a rigorous review, <coughs> consult, and coordinate with whole councils and cabinets, as you promised to do, provide instrument feedback and updates, something else you promised to do, prepare a detailed scheme for combined authority, furnish a confined unit, and then seek council approval six times and submit the finished proposal to government in the space of 10 weeks. It doesn't stack up, Mr. Mayor. And this is the worrying thing that has to be asked. Has the legwork already been done behind the scenes with no apparent consultation? With regards to consultation and democracy, we have to go back to February 2012, when the Labour controlled Liverpool City Council voted Joe Anderson in as an elected mayor. And they did this without consulting with the local residents. And it appears then the tactics used to bulldoze this through the Liverpool City deal, the people of Liverpool were told, if we don't get it done, we'll lose the money. Well, the same thing happening here, as you mentioned in your comments. Yeah. Whilst we welcome local authorities to work together and cooperate, the mechanism of this proposal is hugely undemocratic <coughs> and completely bypasses the local elected members. And this is the worrying thing. If and when the LCR is formed, as we heard tonight, will the whole of the region be led by the Labour chosen few? We saw what happened in, we saw, and this is what you alluded to, Anne, we've got no proof. We saw what happened in Mersey Town, where the bulk of the money was channeled over to the other side of the water. We know why we kept Liverpool waters and Wooden waters as separate entities.